Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at New Era Field just south of Buffalo, New York. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they've been flawless these last couple months, winners of nine in a row. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his first pass is incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Jerry Hughes in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? 
I think they're just going to pin the roof back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle oh, in the middle go. of the field what where you go. go make a play on the football. What? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Hodges. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And a gain of 39 that time. Back to throw now on first down. And an alley to run. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 23 yards on the tuck and run. They'll look to throw now on first down. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away at its second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. Go. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing in too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Ah. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Star Latulale able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it's up to how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he... Steelers set to take the field. Come on, let's go! They'll come out throwing here on first down. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. The 30, 20, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. taken down a good pick up there a 22 and there's another completion to the tight end and let's face it it is hard to overthrow 
a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Let's go! They'll set up a throw. That's going to be caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. throw. Throw left side taken in by Washington. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Cut. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw it. Fighting him off. Now he'll escape to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. He'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And an alley to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over, and we'll see what they come up with here on this next play. From the two now, second and goal. They'll set up to throw. Buying time to his left. And feeling the pressure here 
and take him down. A sack back at the seven. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. And the Steelers on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Let's go! He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout. As The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of the ah. best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Now back to throw. Man off the left side is Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll drop the throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the...
They're going to look to throw. And an alley to run. Space to maneuver at the 40. And all the way up to the 46. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. They give him a gain of 38. That was a nice pickup. Some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there. A little run after catch. And it came on a crossing route. I can just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it, because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. Love his pocket awareness. Able to slip out of the sack. But once you take your eyes off the receivers, once your eyes come down and you see the rush, hard to get back downfield and find an open target. Fortunate. That one just wound up as an incomplete pass. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. And that third counter there gives them the lead. And it's obvious. They've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Pernell McPhee in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. The Steelers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. 
Back to throw. He's going deep for Brown. They've got his man complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Over the middle here to Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards on the play. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw here. His pass caught at the four. And he's brought down. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. It's their quarterback taking it in. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it. Try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. This is caught. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this <laughs> one ahead of time that maybe...
That one looks like he'll throw here. But he's going deep for Brown. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 16. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Steps away to his left. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He sets the fire deep. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because... The element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things. But a big shout-out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be in these elements. They took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. So for Pittsburgh, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1. And, and they'll get another road test next week as they head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Meanwhile, for the Bills, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to 3-9. and nine. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.